Hey friends, welcome to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video I am so excited for because you guys have been asking for this for a long time. You ask, where did I get started with Cricut? What are some of my favorite beginner friendly things? I'm going to share all of them with you today, so stay tuned. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring this video. You guys know how much I love Cricut. I have loved them since 2016 when I bought my own Cricut for my wedding. So many things in my wedding were DIY'd using my Cricut. Literally, I fell in love with Cricut. There are so many things with the machine that I didn't realize that it could cut, that it could do. And now that I've had it for so many years, I've really been able to explore, figure out what materials that I like, and what really works for beginner-friendly projects. Today, I'm sharing four Four projects that I made with my Cricut Explore Air 2. These projects are all super simple and you can pop your machine right out of the box and get crafty. So right off the bat, my favorite thing to make with my Cricut are vinyl decals. You could use them in so many different ways, but here is one of my favorites to label and organize my house. So I grabbed two of these Dollar Tree containers. They're pretty blah on their own, but I wanted to jazz them up. So I took the lids, gave them two coats of just some Walmart 97 cent black matte spray paint. It's the same spray paint I've been using for a lot of projects lately. And then I just went in, grabbed one of Cricut's fonts and design space, literally typed it out like I was in like Microsoft Word, Notepad, etc. Cut it out, weeded it, and just stuck it on with some transfer tape. This process is so quick and easy, and you can literally label so many things. I am so excited to use this come when Finn is in school and when he's got different things throughout his room to organize, just slap a label on it and call it a day. Literally, you can make this within five minutes, and these are perfect for my bathroom to help me keep all my stuff in the same spot. Up next are some super quick and easy cards. Now, this is something that I've just recently gotten into, but the Cricut machine, it can cut 100 plus materials. And so cardstock hasn't been something that I've done a ton with, but it is so easy to make stuff at home. Cricut makes it really easy. This is their design space software and you can really go through. They have hundreds of projects that you can go through. I found this floral envelope with insert right on design space and I wanted to create it. So you can do one of two things. You can click make it down in the corner, which is what I did here, and it will send everything directly to the place where you start cutting. You don't have to mess with anything. You don't have to do any guesswork. It literally does it for you. Everything from cut lines to score lines. If you want to write with it, you can do a ton of different things or you can click customize and then you can go in and change things as you want if you want to make changes to the project. Another way Cricut makes it super easy is that you can change your material size and your different types of material. So then that machine takes all the guesswork out of it for you. So here it's telling me I'm set to cardstock load my stylus for scoring so then that way I can fold it, make sure my blade is in, and then also which button to hit to load the mat. And you just follow the prompts on the screen for the different colors that you want. So I added some craft paper to both my envelopes and my cards. The different tools that they have pop in super easy. You just put it in here. The machine again will tell you where to put it. It is literally like so helpful especially if you're not big into crafting it literally will tell you step by step it's kind of like a paint by number situation then i took this really pretty cricut scrapbooking paper and i made sure my machine was all ready to go and cut those pieces as well this makes me feel this way Once everything was cut, then it was just time to assemble it. And because all the scoring lines and everything match everything up, this is super easy. I just took some Mod Podge, you could use a glue stick, whatever, hook them together, and that is it. These cards look so high end. They look like something that you would get at like a paper source store. And you made them at home on a budget, super quick and easy. These are also awesome for last minute stuff. 
and this wouldn't be whiskey and wit if I didn't talk about some home decor. So I absolutely love this vase and how it turned out with a vinyl decal. It actually started as this thrift store pitcher. I picked it up a while ago for $1.99 and it's just been sitting at my house. I decided to give it two coats of this flat white primer paint from Rust-Oleum. So then to create my decal, I did one part uploaded artwork and then one part something from Design Space. So I went in, I added this that I designed on my own that I already had, and then I went through the images on Design Space, found a laurel, and added it to my design. Now the nice thing within Design Space is you can literally free move around all of your pieces to get it exactly where you want it, so you don't need to design outside of Design Space if you don't want to. Once I had everything where I wanted it, I selected the entire piece of art and went down to the right and hit attach. That way everything will cut as you see it. If not, it will cut as separate pieces. And then I used my machine, cut it out, and then I used some Cricut transfer tape to get it over to the picture. Now the trick here with groove surfaces is sometimes it's hard to just go ahead and stick the decal on like you would on a flat surface, but I've got a tip for you. Go ahead and get everything centered onto your curved surface and then just take some scissors and cut in the open area. What this is going to do is allow you a little bit more slack to push down your decal and it will allow everything to sit on the curved surface flat. So this is great for mugs and cups and a pitcher like this different things that have curved surfaces rather than the straight and it will get everything to apply so much easier than getting crinkles in your transfer tape and really pulling out your hair. So that is a hack that I wish I knew when I started with Cricut so that's why I'm sharing it with you. And that's it, so simple, some paint and a good old decal. And I love the saying, it just reminds you to really stay in the present, enjoy the time that you're in. And it looks so pretty with some faux florals. You could also throw in some real florals, but I wanted to take it the next step further and create some Cricut flowers. Now, full disclosure, I've never done this before. I've had the machine for four years, like I said but I've always wanted to, and I'm like, you know what? This is a perfect time to try it, to let people know if really a beginner at these flowers could do it. So Cricut has a make it now file in design space for these paper roses. So I literally clicked make it. I didn't touch anything other than the button to cut on the machine. I followed the prompts. I used my little spatula to get the cardstock off. And then I went through, they've got a guide that you can follow. And honestly, it was so easy. Like I was really intimidated and I thought I might not share this footage because I thought it might be a train wreck. But you guys, these turned out so cute. I like have all these ideas now of how I can take these flowers. I could add them to a vase like I showed, but then you could also add these to presents, signs for showers and parties. Honestly, so, so many possibilities just from a cheap pack of cardstock from your local craft store. And finally, this has to be my favorite because of the model that's involved, so stay tuned till the end of this part of the video to see Mr. Finn. So I wanted to create a matching set of shirts for Finn and I, but all the ones I've seen are either super cheesy or super expensive, and so I thought I could use my Cricut to make that with heat transfer vinyl. So I went through in Cricut Design Space, as you're seeing, and created the decal. So the trick with the heat transfer vinyl is you've got a shiny side and a dull side. Shiny side goes down onto your mat. The reason for that is the shininess you're seeing is your carrier sheet, and that is what is going to protect your vinyl when you put the heat on top of it. So basically you're going to cut backwards. So on your computer, you're going to turn on your mirror setting, and then you're also going to hit iron on on the machine so it knows what it's doing and it can help you through the process. Went through, weeded everything, and then it was ready to go on my shirt. 
It's one of those things that I just love to see. It's like also when you press it to the shirt and you peel it off, it's just one of those like, yes, moments. So for this project, I'm using the Cricut Easy Press 2 at 305 degrees for 30 seconds. I love this thing. I have been using an iron for years, so it's definitely able to do without that. But this takes the guesswork out of it as well. It tells you the temperature that it's at. It tells you how long to press it. You're not like trying to make sure that you cover everything. You can cover a huge part of area with this, so I absolutely love it. And then once it's all pressed and cooled, you can literally just peel it off and you have a custom shirt. You can put whatever you want on it and that's what I love. I have sold shirts with this technique. I've made shirts for friends' bachelorette parties, for gifts. I've made teacher shirts for my mom. Really just the possibilities are endless. And what I love is that you can literally use everything within Cricut. You can upload your own stuff, which you guys have seen me do in other videos literally the only limit that you have with what you can cut out with this machine is your ability to think it up because whatever you can create you can put it into design space and the Cricut will spit it out for you it is awesome leave me a comment down below and let me know if you know what movie this is from but here is myself and Mr. Smalls modeling our brand new set Mr. Smalls are you Smalls? What I love so much too about my Cricut is it allows me to make things that would normally cost our family a lot of money for a lot cheaper. So we have the memories and all the cute photos without the huge price tag. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a huge thanks to Cricut for partnering with me to share some of my favorite projects with you guys. I would love for this to be a start of a series with all of my Cricut tips and tricks. So let me know down in the comments below, what do you wanna learn how to make? What are some of the things you're struggling with? I would love to create that content to help you guys. So let me know. Be sure to hit subscribe up here if you don't want to miss a future Whiskey and Wit video. And I will also link some of my favorite Cricut projects here on the screen so you can go check those out as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!